Hey everyone, so when it comes to window steel fishing, uh, one of the most popular presentations that people like to use are these uh, pink worms. So these are fantastic, not just for steelhead, but also for bull trout, for cutthroat trout, and rainbow trout as well. So it's a very versatile presentation, and uh, it's, it's very popular because it's very easy to use. There's no mess, and it works in rivers where there's a bait band because this is an artificial bait without a scent. And um, yeah, so in this video tutorial, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to rig this up and uh, how to use it effectively. So to start with, um, what you got to do is you got to get yourself a bait needle, a long one like this, and you got to thread this onto the line and that's where the needle comes in. So I, what I like to do is go through the pink worm through the head first, just right in the middle and go through right along the body and eventually you'll come out at some point so it, it really is personal preference so this one right here this um delta steely one right here is about four inch long and uh you can come out at halfway through two inches long or you can go three inch i usually go go around three like two between two and three you'll come out around there okay so then just thread the um, worm onto the needle. And at the, end of the other end of the needle, what you gotta do is you grab your leader line and thread it through this little opening at the end of the needle, okay? So now that the line is on the needle, so just put thread the worm through the, the end and then onto the fishing line. Like so. And the line comes out at the other end. And now you got the worm on the fishing line. Okay? So the leader that the leader length that I choose is usually around 12 to 16 inches long. You don't want to go too long because then the worm will start floating up um, away from the weight and that will cause a delay on the bite when the fish actually grab it. Um, so around 16 inches. Especially if you're using fish in fast water, you definitely want to go with a shorter leader. And then at the end of the line, you want to tie onto the hook. Um, so here's another personal preference. I like to tie my hook um, at this end so the, uh, the worm is upside down. So the head of the um, worm actually comes down to the hook and the tail will be dangling above. Some people would like to do it the other way and I'll tell you why. Uh, I prefer this way in a minute. So tie the hook on, just a very simple um, bait loop knot. Okay. And this is size one on the no escape, the new no, no escape hook. Very good for salmon and steelhead. Okay, now, now the hook is tied on. You just pull the uh, worm all the way down. So like, like I said, I got, I've got the uh, head of the pink worm on the bottom and where's the tail is on the top. I find the, um, where the line comes out near the tail, it's actually very easy to rip. So if you have it the other way, um, the hook would actually rip the worm more easily, especially uh, once you catch a fish. So I, like, I prefer it that way. Some people like to put a bead between the worm and the hook as well, just to prevent the ripping. Um, personally, I don't, personally I, don't, I find that if you have the head this way, it actually doesn't rip very easily. So I prefer not to have the bead on there. So this leader right here is ready to go. And um, you can fish this in pretty fast water, fast pocket water. Um, but surprisingly, I've actually caught quite a few fish in moderate flow in walking speed water as well. As this is drifting down um, with the underwater current, if the current is very slow on top, it might be faster on the bottom because of the uneven uh, riverbed. Uh, this, this will be going up and down like that and be wiggling around and very attractive to the fish. So there you have it. So this is a pink worm setup uh, for steelhead. And if you have any other questions, uh, please uh, visit our website and uh, leave a comment and I'll, I'm always happy to answer your questions. So you can always email us at info at fishingwithrod and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until next time, good luck fishing.